people saying, look, you know, we're Americans and we have the right to freely associate with whomever we want. And we should not be denied the right to do that. It's not about cutting taxes. I don't mind paying my taxes, you know. It's about having a quality of life and sharing it with everybody in the society. You know? That there is power behind, behind the unions and that we're organized and we're ready for a fight. This legislation starts to look almost like a First Amendment attack, you know. So long term, uh, I think it could be detrimental uh, generally because one of the things we know about unions is they tend to reduce wage inequality. I just The way I th see things going right now, it's starting to look like we're going back to the 19th century where a few people hold all the money and the rest of the people kind of starve along for just to make a living. So we're getting sick and tired of uh, having all our rights cut. You know? and, and I think every time labor organizations are weakened, uh, it, tell, it tends to accentuate that gap in wealth and, and distribution of wealth. Because we live in a wonderful country if, if it's fair. But if that's going to be taken away, then I guess we're going backwards instead of forwards. Uh, I, I think the real danger here is that we are going to drive uh, a wedge uh, and force moderates to take sides. And I mean, it, it's, it's going to widen the gulf and gives more credence to the extreme positions on both sides. And we're going to see, I think it's going to have a polarizing effect.